The 2022 JavaScript Rising Stars report just came out and it's the seventh year that this has been released. It gives you the insight into what is trending or not trending in our web development ecosystem and let's talk about it. So first of all, let's talk about the most popular projects overall for the year of 2022. And no surprise that Bun is moving forward as being the most popular project of 2022. If you don't know what Bun is, it's a JavaScript runtime that allows you to bundle, transpile, and much more. Think runtime plus package manager. And that's basically what you've got with Bun. And every single week, the team seems to be releasing something new that we need. And I think by the end of the year, it will be the number one runtime alternative beating out everybody else. And based upon these trends, that seems to be true. And as you can see, React, Next.js, Vite, TRPC, Astro are all holding out three through seven in the top spots. Of course, React has always been very popular on this list, and I don't think that will change. As people turn towards alternatives, people building things on top of React, like Next.js, I feel like they'll still be in the top 10 for the next 10 years. React is definitely not going away, regardless to what you read on the internet. TRPC, no surprise here. It has been absolutely booming in the most popular in general. I think TRPC in 2023 is going to four or five X its popularity. And I believe that's done by the fact that there are a lot of influencers, collaborators, their community is great. And the tooling overall is probably the best way to build a full stack app in 2023. Visual Studio Code, no surprise there. I am surprised by the fact that Tabby has made it into the top 10 of most popular overall. It is a terminal for the modern age and it's been around since 2016 or so. So I'm really surprised that it's back in the top 10, but it's good to see that terminals are making a comeback. So we've talked about this, but we're really interested in front end frameworks and the React ecosystem and probably full stack as well. So let's talk about front end frameworks, React still number one, Vue still number five. If we push this out a bit more, you can see that even Angular is in the top seven, which isn't really surprising, but Quick is very similar to React, except from we're moving on to this zero JS baseline where we ship with zero JS code and then we hydrate as needed. And that kind of feels the same way for both solid and quick, both really popular and then Svelte coming in at number four. I'm super excited to see this trend of zero baseline JavaScript moving the industry forward. Less JavaScript means better performance for everyone. Let's talk about the React ecosystem, the ecosystem that I and you and everybody else seems to live in today. Next.js, still number one, will probably be number one forever, but it's super good to see that it is still trending upwards with an almost 20,000 stars this year. It's one of the most popular GitHub repositories now, so that's super excited to see. Friends again at TRPC showing up one more time. This is super important because I do believe again that they're going to absolutely smash this year and they will move in popularity again. Adding 15,000 stars this year, which is basically going from 3K to 18K in a single year, shows just how popular type safety is and how important TypeScript is gonna be in the future. Mantine, one of my favorite component libraries showing up in the top three. Seeing create T3 app land in the top six goes to show just how important Next.js, TRPC, Prisma, and things like that are going to be in 2023. They have really done a great job at creating this full stack type safe Next.js applications. And if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. For one of my favorite virtual whiteboards, you'll see it in videos. If you watched last week's video, it was in there. Great open source project and totally worth paying the few dollars to get the plus version. Remix being in the top 10 shows that there's still some room for other frameworks built upon React and that world, but I imagine that they'll slowly slip down this chart as we go forward. Backend slash full stack again shows Next.js and TRPC dominating the space with Astro coming in at a tight third. And again, create T3 app. Hello, good to see you guys again. 
This is really goes to show the ecosystem in general for backend and full stack applications. People look at Next.js and think it's just a front end framework, but it is 100% full stack from start to finish. And things like TRPC, Create T3 app, really help move the ecosystem forward. It's great to see Astro since their 1.0 release make it into the top three space. Their SSR support has really driven forward that space of being able to do server-side rendering, plus also do everything that you wanted to do before with Astro, leaving JavaScript at zero and only using island architecture to push in those JavaScripts as you need. Finally, let's talk about static sites. It's good to see that Next.js is still holding out that number one position but Astro coming in at a tight second. Honestly, I feel like this will flip in 2023 and you'll see Astro become more and more popular with static site generation. They've done a really, really good job at creating a project that allows you to do exactly what you want when you need it. And they tell you if it's not really what Astro is built for, therefore allowing you to choose the right tools for the job. And I think Astro in 2023 is gonna flip this over. Good to see Nextra in there. It allows you to create documentation and I'm glad to see it's in the top five. Really cool project. If you want quick and easy MDX documentation, this is the way to do it. So there's my quick review of the 2022 JavaScript Rising Stars. I'm really excited for the ecosystem in 2023. And YouTube's gonna recommend a video that you're gonna like up here. And if you're not subscribed, click here to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.